Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Nav Viking Coffee Mug tutorials. Uh, today I was going to continue on the uh, uh, warehouse management video. I have a video uh, which is I call number one on that which shows how to receive an item uh, through warehouse management and this is just a direct follow-up so if you haven't looked at that one please go ahead and check that one out first. That one actually goes through receiving an item uh, and also describes the setups and what is involved. Uh, in this video what I wanted to do is only the picking part, which is the other side, of course. Uh, of course, a lot of things can happen in between. Uh, you can move it around, uh, go between uh, warehouses through transfer orders and all of those things. But in its simplest forms, we receive product, put it away, and then we pick product and ship it. And so we already received and put away the product. And uh, what we're going to do now is create a sales order and ship it out. So I'm looking right now at the bin contents. My item is right here. It's uh, 0001 in uh, the picking zone. It's in bin 10 and there are 200 pieces. I'm going to go ahead and sell 100 of those. And it, this is all in the white warehouse, which is important to note. And uh, what I want the system to do is, of course, tell the picker to go into this bin, pick it, and uh, bring it to the shipping bay and then I'm, I'm going to ship it out. I am logged in as a warehouse worker so all I'm going to see here are warehouse related tasks. Um, I'm going to sneak over here in the search to a sales order and create one just to show how that actually interfaces with uh, the warehouse system. And the nice thing about NAV is that the warehouse system is built in. So it's not bolted on top or on the outside communicating back and forth. It is inside NAV. Uh, we prefer that at Inecta. Um, uh, we have worked in both situations. But um, it is nice to have it all there because then the logic is all in one place. And it's the uh, integration. There is no integration. It's all in the same place. So you have full visibility of business logic. Um, so I'm going to sell this coffee mug. There it is. And I'm not in the blue warehouse, I'm in the white warehouse. I'm going to sell 100 of those. And so here, uh, if we were shipping this out right away, I could just say quantity to ship here 100. Go ahead up in actions. Uh, post, post ship, and it'll go out. And I've shown this um, before in other videos, but um, in this case, since it's the white warehouse and white warehouse is uh, bin enabled, I have to go ahead and create a warehouse shipment. So first I'm going to release this, now it's released, and then I create a warehouse shipment, and then it goes ahead and tells me warehouse shipment header has been created. Basically what that is doing is sending the instruction to the warehouse that they need to ship this out. Okay, now sales should be done by that. Actually, the system automatically shows the warehouse header here. Uh, that is that can be turned off, but um, but this is a warehouse header. This is a different document, and it shows that uh, out of the white location uh, shipping zone bin code nine, which is the shipping bin, we need to ship this. Now this is not the bin to pick from. This is the bin to ship from. So someone will need to go and pick from the actual uh, bin it is in to this bin where it's actually shipped from. So this could be like a packing station or shipping bay or something like that. Uh, and 100 here. This document also note that it does not have any amounts, only quantities. When we move over to the warehouse, there are no amounts, uh, no dollar amounts, just quantities. All right, so I'm going to close this out and go into the warehouse roll center right here. And if I go into um, shipments, 
I can see that we have a new shipment, this one. And so this is the same screen I was just looking at, except I accessed it from the warehouse side, which the warehouse would access. Um, and they need to ship this out today. Um, and so I'm, what I'm going to do is uh, create a pick. So I need to send somebody to go and get this uh, out of the warehouse. And I create a pick up here. All right, I can assign a user, etc. Um, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and create it for anyone. So if I don't sign a user normally, what that means is that anyone can pick it up to pick. And I close this out. And so this is released and has not been picked yet. You can see the status over here. And if I go into my picks up here, actually, if I cl click on the role center, I can see that here I have one pick. And I open this up. Now, normally, this would all be happening on a scan gun. And what the scan gun is doing, or the mobile device, is just looking at these pages. It, they look a little bit different or configured a little bit different, but it's the same data, same functionality and populating the screens here and posting so that the mobile device is not really doing anything itself. There's no business logic there. The business logic is all inside NAV. Uh, and in this pick screen, it's basically saying, go ahead and take out of four, which is where my product was for 10, 100 and place them into the shipping zone 91 where we will pack them and uh, get them ready for shipment and then a person will go out there and scan uh, the bin and type in the quantity and then scan again uh, the one they bring it to the shipping zone and approve the quantity now, if I pick it from another bin, let's say, for example, there was a mistake and for some reason it was in 20, not 10, I can change that here. So I can just pick it from a different bin. However, the system knows that it's not available in any other bin. Um, and if it was, then we can do an on, you know right away an adjustment on that. In any case, in this demo, uh, we're, we're going to assume that it was available in 410. And so all I do is just automatically fill quantity to handle that I'm going to handle both. And then I register the pick. And now I picked it. Um, then I can go into my shipments again. And now I can see that this particular shipment ha is completely picked. It's ready. Um, and what I want to do here is just go ahead and ship this out so I can post the shipment. Now, before, if I, if this was not a warehouse enabled um, or bin enabled location, I would have had, I could have just gone ahead and shipped right off the sales order and that's it. But since it's warehouse enabled I and bin enabled, I'm sorry, bin enabled, I will have to create a warehouse shipment, create a pick, pick to the shipment, and then ship the warehouse shipment. And then it's shipped out. So, of course, it's a more complicated process, but if you do have you know, processes within your warehouse and you got all these bins and you have to manage all the bins, you have to have this structure in place. Uh, if you don't, uh, you know, then you can get away with a simpler structure. So I'm going to go ahead and post this. And I can actually invoice here, but I don't want to do that. I'm just going to ship. And now I have shipped the product and product is gone. So if I go now into my bin contents, or actually I'll just go into items. Um, and here's my coffee mug. I can see I only have 100 left. And if I go into bin contents for this particular mug, there is a hundred left, so a hundred had been shipped out. Um, and so that is basically how the uh, shipping works, shipping and picking for NAV. It's all inside NAV. It's not in an outside system. You have a full warehouse enabled uh, and bin management uh, inside NAV. 
Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. As always, we welcome any questions or suggestions. Um, so leave comments or, of course, if you can subscribe, that would be awesome. Uh, we are trying to build our fan base over here at Anacta. And uh, if you want to look for further information, please go to anacta.com.